I just want to thank uh, everybody for the territorial recognition, and uh, I'm very honored to be a speaker, um, a witness. This is uh, truly, you know, an honor to to do it the traditional way of these lands, and um, that's that's what that's what's important to us is to keep to our traditions. From the beginning of time, we've always we've always done the same. Same thing as our forefathers, and I'm sure our, our uh, future generations will be doing the same thing. And uh, I want to thank Manny Jules for bringing us all together to this historic event. And um, the elder earlier today for bringing, the, bringing us into this, this event in a good way. Um, I've always, I've always uh, thought that... We need a we need a place at the decision making table, and Mr. Polyev, I commend you on having the foresight and and seeing that for us to go together and make Canada great again, we need to do it in partnership and uh, government to government. In essence, the democratic ethos champions the veneration of traditions and the preservation of cultural customs, emphasizing their role as pillars of stability and identity within a community. The focus is on leaders embracing the traditional way and showing gratitude towards figures like Pierre Poilievre, committing to collaboration with indigenous leaders. This commitment extends to acknowledging and valuing indigenous voices, promoting inclusive and cooperative efforts. Trevor McCadahay's comments reflect a dedication to upholding past traditions while expecting future generations to do the same, highlighting a profound interconnectedness across time. This emphasizes the need for a collaborative alliance between indigenous communities and governments, stressing the importance of their involvement in decision-making processes. These democratic values align with the decentralized decision-making principles and foster collaboration among a diverse range of stakeholders.